Jace Tunnel here from Mission Aransas Research Reserve. Oh, from the University of Texas Marine Science Institute. Sorry about that. Today, <laughs> we're talking about the cannonball jellyfish. Uh, some people call it the cabbage head jellyfish. Uh, this thing is, is pretty interesting. I don't know if you've uh, seen these before, but um, I'm gonna set it down here. This one's dead um, and it's slimy, it looks like. Oh man. But um, this is a real interesting animal, uh, invertebrate obviously, but um, people actually eat this thing. These things are found all in the Atlantic Ocean, the Gulf of Mexico, which uh, you know, we're here now, even there's some in the Pacific. And uh, you mainly find them uh, lots of times in estuaries, at least around here. So that's where we're at now, which is where the rivers uh, meet the sea. Um, and you'll notice I'm, I'm touching it a lot. Um, they can't sting you. I mean, th there might be a mild sting. They do have pneumatocysts, which are their stinging cells. And they've got a toxin that comes out. But really, the toxin um, just sort of numbs fish and um, uh, keeps them away from uh, you know, eating on the, the animal. Uh, this thing eats a uh, little zooplankton and stuff like that out in the, the estuaries. Um, but I don't know, a lot of kids that grew up around here, especially surfers and stuff like that, you'll see them throwing it at each other uh, in the water. So they, they can't really hurt you unless it like knocks you in the head. But as far as stinging, um, it can't, can't do much there. Um, thought it was an interesting uh, animal to talk about. Um, and you know, that's what's washing up right now. There's actually, if I walked along here, um, you'd find uh, probably 20 to 30 of them that are washing up. So you know that they're out here swimming around. But thought I'd bring that up for this week's beach coming. All right, till next time. Talk to you later. Bye.